Hello everyone, my name is Denver Profit Jr. I work for Strikeoff Ecommerce Inc. Today I'm going to show you how to set up Fasted Search for PrestaShop. So here's kind of what it's going to look like. I've been reorganizing the categories for this client. As you can see, they have way too many. And Fasted Search is going to help them with that because now I can begin to uh, take, like with the uh, pendants, and create a subcategory of pendants to clump all of their crosses together. and then um, <clears throat> work on their features and their attributes. The thing you need to know about features is they're not going to be things that will be uh, unique for an, a shelf lookup unit or a UPC or EAN code. As an example, if uh, let's take computers. If <clears throat> one laptop comes with Bluetooth, but the other one doesn't. They both have different UPC EAN codes and shelf lookup units. That's an attribute where you could uh, select on that page for that laptop if they want to include the Bluetooth ability, which increases the price, but also changes the UPC uh, EAN uh, lookup code. But for a feature, these are things that are not associated with a uh, UPC code. So in jewelry, I've uh, created some feature sets. And I got these terms from uh, Gemology Online. So I wanted to get classifications that are uh, widely known and... Um, make it uh, semantic so when people are, are searching for gold it'll associate a, a precious metal get back to it and within my precious metal I begin to populate some of those I need to change that to pure gold but uh, you see I've got the silver micron plated the pure silver gold plated and gold and that's how I'm going to describe some of the pendants. And as you can see, I've done carrot. And carrot is a measure of purity. I still have values to put there. Jury design. I went out and got some terminology from uh, other places in the jury industry to describe uh, opal doublets and opal triplets. And features are found in catalog product features and <clears throat> let me show you one of the products and how you edit features grab these the skew there we go search edit that product you're going to come down to the features tab and these are pre-filled because we already populated from here so you just select the kind of metal precious stone carrot jewelry design your product is you wouldn't fill this in well you can um, but I would suggest that you keep adding uh, feature sets over here because you have more products that will probably need to have that designation. So I've got these filled in. And now, here they go. So here's the data sheet. And that shows up down here. This, These are semantic key terms. So when people are searching for a Christian cross or a pendant Christian cross, with uh, silver micron plated, you can see how the keyword density goes up. 
because I'm using it because it's more than once on the page. It's also in the uh, uh, breadcrumb and uh, my pet peeve is making sure that you have taxonomy set up correctly. So when you go through and start organizing, don't do like this where you've got a billion ca uh, subcategories just to describe your product. You want to go with what's semantic. So pendants is a subclass of jewelry and crosses is a, uh, a dependent term of pendants. It describes the kind of pendant that they may want to purchase. So here, that's how you do the uh, features. Now, the attributes, I'll go back and show you that real quick. So here you're looking for products that may have a color. And within Press to Shop, you can assign an image of your product in emerald green, black. And as they go across uh, the attribute selector for color, the photo will change. And I really don't have time for that right now. I just want to show you that, yes, you, you want to set up your attributes correctly. And these, remember, that's skews that change with the attribute selector. Features do not. Um, I'm not sure if a double stitch or a triple stitch would matter on, say, a pair of blue jeans, if that would change the skew or not. But if it is a feature that does not change the skew or the UPC or the EAN, then that would be a feature. So you get all those set up, you get your product features set up. You come back and you edit your product. Make sure that the uh, data sheet describes uh, everything that you want as a feature and not an attribute. And then you're going to come over to block layer and you're going to activate that. Please read these. Read the documentation, the uh, help documentation. Um, I'll get. I'll put that in the uh, video text. So you want to set up your cron jobs, and that's if you uh, are constantly making changes to your products. This, and then you will have to set up a, a day or a, or a week or a month. So if you change your prices daily, you want to set up a cron job that's daily to re-update the prices on your fasted search. A nightly build is recommended. Let's uh, edit this. I want to give it a better semantic term. Uh, this is going to be jewelry pendant faceted search. You want to make sure that you select the correct category that it's going to show up on. And then you want to put the features that are going to show up. I won't have a subcategory of crosses. So I'll unselect that. This client does not track uh, stock filters. So don't need that. And all items are new, so we don't need a condition filter. Uh, they do not display the manufacturer or the weight. Right now, the price doesn't matter uh, because there are only nine items, I believe. But when I'm done with this, I'll probably be about 60 to 70 items. And they will go over $1,000, $50, $100. So maybe at that time, the price filter would uh, matter. And I'll go ahead and turn it on now so you can see what that looks like. So there we go. We've got a price filter here. We can narrow this down. And it will change the number of items that are on the page to match the price filter uh, if, a client is, uh, if a customer is looking for their budget. Let me go back and turn that off again. And off you go. <clears throat> I have to work with this client again to 
uh, separate the kind of attributes and make them more descriptive. This color could be for a certain type of product and they certainly should have put that as the attribute name. But what we're going to go down to here is our feature sets that we created specifically for jewelry. So we've got the precious metal, precious stone, the carrot purity, and the jewelry design opal uh, doublet or triplet so far. Probably going to have a lot more than that. It made more sense to me to put checkbox, but you can certainly do a radio button or a drop down list. I think it's easier on um, mobile to do a checkbox. You use your own preference there. And these limit the number of results. I really wouldn't, wouldn't would mess with that right now. So here we've got uh, 29 products that are that are filtered because we have selected four values here. So let's go over the top when you cl create your templates. Make sure that your template name is uh, related to the type of faceted search you're creating. You know, if this is going to be for blue jeans or if this is going to be for, like I said in the uh, previous example with uh, desktops or laptops with Bluetooth and you would put uh, something descriptive along that nature. Next, you would select the specific category or parent category to include subcategories. And when you include the category, the main category, which will be the folder icon, you may want to uh, make sure that subcategories in that category are also filtered so that fasted search so shows up on those subcategories. Come down the list make sure you have a descriptive attribute group names As you can see this can get quite confusing over time if you're not paying attention to that and there we go with that then you would click save and that's what created this fasted search block layer again the module name is block layered and I chose that from, where are your modules? There you are. So come over here to the search side and put in block layered. Well, there we go. Uh, if it's not installed, install it, activate it, and then configure. And you would reach the screen that we were just on a second ago. Ask your host master to assist you with creating your cron jobs and feel free to create additional add a new template for different categories let's get down to the bottom settings and the first one is hide filter value when no products is matching and I put yes show the number of matching products yes that's helpful to me uh, and you want to may want to show products on your subscreen. I would. Uh, then you've got a, a yes or no boolean, and you can see here this is pretty self-describing. Uh, here I'm still unsure on whether or not this will be beneficial. Uh, I'll put the video out and allow you search marketers to weigh in on that and uh, this is the reason why so when I go back over to uh, precious metal precious metal has a URL and so do their values and they have meta uh, data so uh, you see here when I did the price filter that it created a URL uh, but I don't like price right now. Let's clear that out. Well, darn it. Didn't clear it out, did it? There. Got rid of it. There. 
All right, so if they wanted the micron plated, the URL changes. I probably need to go back and edit these URLs and replace underscores. If not, I need to submit a ticket value and make these hyphens. It's better to use hyphens than to use underscores. But that it creates a URL that can be indexed, which will concentrate the types of products as uh, micron silver plated. I'm not sure what value that has, if any. Uh, so you search people can comment on that. But that's basically how you go about uh, setting up your fasted search. Uh, you can do these with uh, many different various categories. The angle is, is you've got to figure out um, when a product doesn't change the SKU, EAN, UPC, but uh, has a feature. Now you can, um, let me go back in here. If an item has attributes, you can turn on the attributes. So let's say these are toys and uh, the UPC EAN SKU changes if the little uh, dragon toy includes batteries. So batteries would be an attribute that would show up on fasted search. So I could check mark all those toys that includes batteries and that would allow me to decide on a on a product that I might want to purchase because it includes batteries that will also show up as an SEO uh, URL with a meta title that's basically how you do it if you have any questions at all uh, please feel free to uh, leave a message in the comments make sure to click the thumb up button in the top right hand corner subscribe to the channel and share the video have a great day